Main man, main man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing, man. So news is out, ladies and gentlemen, that my main man, Gary Russell's fight for March 11th, in which he was going to face Oscar Escandon over at the MGM National Harbor here in D.C., man, is recently built. It's going to be the first inaugural fight in the building. However, that fight, that fight just got postponed. Um, we also know on that undercard, another big fight was going to be Jamel Charlo versus Charles Hatley, man. Another fight that I was really looking forward to. But uh, they said that they postponed this particular fight or this particular car because Oscar Escandon suffered an injury in training in which he suffered a back injury. And so this pushes this fight down the road a little more, man. So um, according to Steven Espinoza, Showtime's um, guy when dealing with boxing, you know what I mean? He's saying that basically the fight will go on and it will be televised by Showtime once Oscar Escandon uh, gives them a, a concrete date on when he can be able, be able to get back into the ring. So that's what they're pretty much waiting for. That is the public answer, ladies and gentlemen. Now, we know that this is the second time that this fight has been postponed. First time this fight was supposed to go down was in November of last year in which it couldn't go down then because Gary Russell uh, has sustained an injury in, in training and that he has sustained a bad cut and he couldn't go on, which is why we see Gary Gary Russell, um, not really, you know, dogging Oscar Scandon over this particular postponement because he's like, you know, I understand that this dude is in the biggest fight of his career. And, um, you know, this is a life changing fight, according to Gary Russell. And so he wants to be in the tip top best condition that he can uh, approaching this fight. So according to Gary Russell, he pretty much understands. I mean, he, what the hell else is he going to say when he's already postponed the fight once him damn self? Right now, I mean. It's kind of messed up, you know what I'm saying, because we know how rarely we see Gary Russell gets into the into the ring. You know, it, it's always good to see when Gary Russell ex displays his talent to the world. Uh, some say he still has the fastest hands in boxing, you know what I'm saying? And it's always a pleasure to see Gary Russell. And we haven't seen him since he stopped that dude, uh, Patrick Hyland, in the second round. I mean, Patrick Hyland was basically nobody, you know what I mean? At least no one of a higher caliber, you know what I mean? But... I mean, this fight right here with Oscar Escandon, the truth be told, I'm not a, the greatest, biggest fan of this particular fight. Um, I don't know how the WBC made this guy the number one mandatory fighter. Um, I understand in this last fight he fought for the WBC interim title. I get that. But how the fuck does he fight for the WBC interim title after the fight before that against uh, Flores? He lost the WBA interim title. He was fighting for the WBA interim title in that particular fight. He lost a split decision, and then he turns around in the next fight, fights for the WBC interim title. You get me? And um, I don't know what was the criteria based on about them uh, picking this guy as the WBC Mando. Even the guy he fought had 12 losses. You know what I mean? He fought a dude with 12 losses for the WBC mandatory spot to face Gary Russell. I don't know what the fuck the WBC is thinking down at featherweight man but you know it is what it is man i'm getting some earfuls uh from some folks about there is more to this than just the injury i don't have anything official to report about that but i uh, just know i'm hearing whispers that uh it actually goes a bit deeper than these injuries and and uh, i don't know maybe there could be some static going on in in the russell camp and well i'm not going to get into that man but all i'm all i'm going to say is is that it's it kind of sucks that we don't see this freaking fight man i just want to see gary russell get us into the ring um i'm hoping that gary russell only take one or two more fights at featherweight tops anyway because clearly the guys at featherweight are not trying to give him a decent fight and if he wants to do that way if he can't get into the ring with the uh lee selby's if he can't unify uh, we, we know carl frampton is busy trying to get that third fight with uh, leo santa cruz i don't think leo santa cruz pivots to after facing carl frampton the last couple times he ain't thinking about pivoting to uh Gary Russell neither, you know what I mean? So if Gary Russell, man, he's been trying to get a fight of a higher caliber for a minute now, man, and for some reason, we can't get it. Outside of the Johnny Gonzalez and the, the Lomachenko fights, man, we ain't seen Gary Russell step up, man, in quite some time, quite honestly. And uh, I've reported, I've kept a lot of y'all, man, in the loop with Gary Russell. He's been working out with his family. Uh, he's more so concerned about training his brothers, and we've seen that what happened in the Olympics uh, with one of the Russell brothers. Unfortunately, he fell a little short, and some people believe that he was robbed, you know what I'm saying? 
But, um, you know, he's been busy occupying himself with those type of things, and he doesn't get himself wrapped up in all the bullshit that comes down in the sport of boxing. Heads off to Gary Russell and the entire Russell family for that. But, uh, man, I want to see the dude get in the ring, man. And, and if he doesn't get a high-caliber fight at featherweight, I would love to see him go up to 130, which we know, according to Gary Russell, before he retires, he wants to get Vasil Lomachenko back in the ring. And in order for that to happen, Gary Russell needs to be moving up very, very soon because, quite honestly, we don't know how long Lomachenko is going to stay at 130 when there are much bigger fights up at 135. So it's it's kind of messed up, y'all, man. I, and I'm really looking forward to, like I said, the Charlo and Charles Hatley fight, man. That's going to be a hell of a freaking fight, man. But uh, there's some unanswered possible questions surrounding this particular situation. As if we see in here right now, it's nothing more than an Oscar Escandon back injury. But uh, hopefully they can relink the venue back up because I sure was going to be in the building for that fight, man. I really was. And I'm looking to, I need to check my emails and see what the word is on the tickets. Those who bought tickets already, um, you know, what the fuck they want us to do. But anyway, man. Looking forward to the fight if they re- I mean, looking forward to the card. I'm sorry if they reschedule it. I want to see Gary Russell, man. At this point, I don't give a fuck who he fights. I just want to see the dude in the ring. And uh, hopefully, like I said, after this Oscar Scandin fight, a guy who I don't believe he should be fighting, but after this fight, hopefully Gary Russell can get a bigger name. If not, go up to a bigger division. To the next video, Main Man Made Man. Don't forget to subscribe. Twitter, Made Man 511. Facebook, Main Man Made Man Boxing Forum. Google Plus, Main Man Made Man. So, I mean, hey, this is not on Gary Russell. Russell, ladies and gentlemen, at least the public story, it's not on Gary Russell. So for everyone that want to run around and say, oh, man, Gary Russell, once again, not fighting, blah, 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 blah. Read the fucking story. As far as we know, the reason is Oscar Escandon postponed this fight. To the next video. Peace out.